Hello, and welcome to this lesson on the Context API in Svelte. In this video, we'll learn how to avoid prop drilling by making data directly available to components. The Context API provides us with a way to pass data down through the component tree without going through each level with props. As an example, let's consider the following application structure. Our component tree consists of four components, each nested inside its parent, up to the root app component. Imagine that the root app component contains a username that we want to use in component C. Typically, the username would have to be passed down through components A and B to be available in component C. But, we can bypass the whole chain by making the username available in the root app component, then accessing it directly in component C. Svelte provides us with two functions to do that, namely, set context and get context. To make data available to another component directly, we use the set context function imported from the Svelte package. This function requires two arguments. The first is a context key that identifies the data we want to retrieve later on. And the second is the context value, which is the actual data we want to make available. For our example, we'll make a username available from the root app component. We'll start by importing the function, so import curly braces set context from svelte. Then we'll invoke the function and specify username as the key with John as the value. That's all we need to do to make data available to the entire application. To retrieve context data, we use the getContext function. This function takes one argument, which is the context key we defined in the setContext function. It returns the value associated with the key, so we can assign it to a data container for storage. For our example, let's create two components. So, new folder, components. Then, new file, child.svelte and another new file, grandchild.svelte. From here, in the root app component, we'll import and use the child component. So, import child from components slash child.svelte. And in the markup, we'll add an instance of the child component. Now we want to open the child component and nest the grandchild inside. So, import grandchild from grandchild.svelte and in the markup, we'll add an instance of grandchild. The grandchild component is where we want to access the username we set in the root app component. So, import curly braces get context from svelte. Then we'll define a constant called name and get the value with get context. The key we used when we set the value was username, so we'll add it as the argument. In the markup, we'll add a heading that says, grandchild, just to identify the component easier in the browser. Below that, we'll add a paragraph and bind the name constant to it. If we save the files and take a look in the browser, we'll see John renders on the page, below the heading. We didn't have to pass the data through the child component, we could access it directly in the grandchild. All right, that concludes this lesson on the Context API in Svelte. In the next video, we'll learn how to communicate from a child component up to its parent with events. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again in the next one.